Okay, so this is going to be a um, Swiss vintage Q uh, draft. Um, I will try and make something hideously broken uh, that works really well. So, Eureka, that's cool. Time Twister is not bad. Oh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's one of the power nine. Um, we have Splinter Twin, which combination combos with a ton of um, different cards to make an instant win. I will probably pick this um, just because I, I getting it early enough is a good chance that um, you can pull off the combo, um, or at least pick the combo. Uh, Jace Blarin is a Jace, so therefore it's pretty damn good. Wildfire is a win condition. Um, it's sort of a, in a combo y man, um, uh, mana rock type uh, deck. Um, yeah, Eureka is really cool. Um, basically, what you can do, you just dump your entire hand onto the battlefield. Um, okay, so Asiok is a very good planeswalker. Uh, strip mine destroys target land, obviously fairly good. Uh, Tolerating Academy is amazing if you've got a um, out effect heavy deck. Uh, nothing really works with Splinter Twin at the moment, um, but that's not a huge problem. Um, Splinter Twin tends to be uh, red blue because the um, uh, the other part of the combos are uh, Pestamite, um, the Seabrax Arc, uh, and um, there's a red card. So um, I suspect I should pick Ashiok or Great Titan. Um, actually, yeah, let's go Ashiok. Teleron Academy is really, really good if I get a load of artifacts, but. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know if that's the correct bit. Uh, Trustedon is very good in a reanimator um, deck. Um, bonfire is Bonfire of the Damned, kills loads of things. You can play it for cheap if you can draw it. Yosemi's Jute, which I've hideously mispronounced is ridiculous because um, basically the, the Jitte gains the counters, not the creature. Um, so you can put it on anything, move it around. Um, all of this gibbering it sort of indicates I don't actually know what to pick is. Spell Sky is very good. Um, actually, I might just do Spell Sky. Pure Akish Crashing Wave, again, plays Walker. Uh, I think that's pretty good in a specific deck. I don't think I'm going to go green blue. Uh, Reanimate. So I could have uh, um, yeah, so could look at doing a, um, a reanimate deck. Tend to want the reanimate effects first and then pick the huge monsters later. Um, Angel of Serenity is a good reanimate effect. Uh, Yeah, Archangel of the Throne is not bad, but well, actually, it's not that great on its own. Um, yeah, I'll take Reanimate. There's probably huge uh, non combos with Ashiok because Ashiok's exiling stuff, but it's exiling your opponent's thing, so it's less of an issue. Um,
don't really know what to pick here. Um, probably a land. Uh, yeah, let's take. Actually, no, I don't have any green. So that's green, red, fetch land. Um, I don't know if fetch lands are better than just the um, dual land, original jewels. Take it, uh, see how that goes. Uh, Dark Confident is ridiculous. If you've got low mana, um, surprise of pretty much nobody, blue seems to be vanishing. Um, Corpse Dance. Yeah, another reanimate effect. Uh, let's take Dark Confident. Um, it may not end up being rubbed depending on. Actually, it's a hideously bad idea with um, reanimate things. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, so Kozilek hideously doesn't work with um, Reanimate. Mind Slaver is good. Um, if you can recurse Mind Slaver, it gets hideously irritating for the opponent because you take all of this, um, take all of their turns. Um, Academy Ruins is a land which can reanim uh, can bring back uh, artifacts from the graveyard. I think I'm going to take Bury Alive because that actually works well with. Um, Reanimate. Might be a reanimate deck. With a splash for Splinter Twin. Double red, not really a splash. Uh, Empty the Warrens. Um, one of the not great um, Storm cards, but to be honest, I think if you get a bunch of different Storm cards and lots of Storm effects and you can go off. It doesn't really matter which card you have that absorbs out. Um, I'm, I think Grape Shot is one of the better ones, but there's also um, Mind Twist, which discards and some other things. I, again, don't have any idea which, peck, which to peck, pick. Um, blue doesn't... Oh, yeah, okay, so I picked Rebel Art by mistake. Um... So this looks more and more like a huge catastrophe. Okay, so let's try Eureka. Um, I suppose it sort of works with reanimate. It does mean that I'm more in green, which I'm not sure is a great thing. Uh, none of these are particularly great. Definitely not doing a white weenie deck. Throw in the last troll. Mm. It's not terrible, but it's not brilliant. Um, this may work in a um, uh, more of a ramp than a anything else. All right, so cut the rebel arc, cut that because blue is blatantly not appearing. I think splinter twin. Is not going to happen. Um, let's take Liana. It's more of a creature deck, um, which is irritating. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken that. Okay, Angel Serenity Wheel. So let's take that for our potentially mythical um, reanimate stroke Eureka deck. As you can probably tell, this is not going the way I planned. Uh, let's take that just in case that's a thing. All right, corpse dance. That's a reanimate effect. All right, mind slaver. I'll take mind slaver. Probably won't run it, but anyway. Okay, so realistically, splinter twin is not happening. I suppose I could possibly potentially eureka. 
Splinter Twin and one of the other parts of the combos. Um, uh, okay, I'm not. I mean, look, I'm sort of running. Well, it looks like I'm running green, so Mox Emerald actually is probably the best Mox for me. Um, I'm really not convinced that I should actually take this card though. Um, Staff Domination is very good. Um, you've got the untap and tap creature uh, effects, draw a card, gain life. So it's hugely repeatable, especially if you've got a ton of mana, that works really well. Um, Treachery is another incredibly good card. Enchant, uh, take a creature and then amp to five cards, lands. Uh, Dark Ritual, fast mana again. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's not going to wheel. Uh, I'm definitely taking Mox Emerald, so. Um, Man of War, shout out to Marshall. Obviously not picking it. <laughs> um, uh, uh, tooth and nail. Sort of works. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I've got a Eureka Tooth and Nail type element, but that doesn't really work well with the, the reanimate side. Um, could do Thoughtsies. Yeah, fuck it. Thoughtsies is probably a good utility. Well, it is a good utility card. Okay, let's try. Mind Twist. Okay, so Mind Twist is fairly ridiculous. Got lots of mana, pump it all into that. They discard the whole hand. Hopefully they cry. Mind Desire for their, that Storm deck, which may or may not be happening somewhere. Um, no doubt I'll play up against the Storm deck and it will completely destroy me. Scroll Rack. People who actually know how to play this game know how to use this card. I haven't got a clue. It always confuses the hell out of me. Um... I mean, I understand how the card works, but how it then works with the other cards in your deck, and how you actually wean it out of it. Um, I think it works well with Storm as well, but... Yeah, let's do Mind Twist. Um, I really want some more Mana Rocks. So, probably the last pick should have picked... Um, a signet instead of thought seas. Uh, Thrandana Ho Dynamo, sorry. I will be taking that. Um, through the breach. Good for ridiculous big cards. Um, I think this again, high tide's part of the uh, uh, the storm deck. I mean, uh, anything that's uh, ramps or a rampy blue type deck probably uses it as well. Um, Dragon of Target is fairly ridiculous, um, but I've not really read green. Um, although, I suppose as a react, no, sorry, thrown down. <laughs> I think Dragon of Target is probably a good um, reanimate. Actually, is that better than Throne? Uh, yeah, it probably was. Okay. Um, Bizarro Baghdad works, I think if you know what you're doing, works really well in the reanimated type deck. Um, I used it and I sort of, I didn't really use it that effectively. Uh, one of my recent drafts, so I sort of got killed. Um, I've got four creatures. 
which isn't great, one of which is Spell Skite. What the hell are the other two? Oh, Liliana. Um, Dark Confident. Okay, so I'm going to take Inferno Titan. Um, yeah. I want some things to actually. Oh, uh, the Abyss. Uh, so, the beginning of each upcap, destroy target non alpha creature that player controls this off church can't re regenerate it. Um, so, that's fairly irritating. Um, obviously, what under the pure white weenie deck, which I'm plainly not playing, Goblin Wielder is really good in the artifact type deck um, which I don't have I'm thinking uh... alright so my plan let's get Dark Confident out because Realistically, I don't want it finding any of my huge things and using a lot of my life. Um, it might be a Eureka deck, um, which probably means that I need a lot more card draw. Um, Eureka Stroke, Reanimate. Uh, okay, so what am I playing? What am I doing now? Uh, let's take a land. Probably the wrong land. What does this do? Uh, oh, it's that one. Okay, let's take Garrett. Eureka is permanent. Yeah, okay, so Garrett counts as a permanent, which is pretty good. Um. Oh, staff. Let's take staff domination. Um, uh, I don't think any of these are particularly great. Um, Warfield Silver Heart. Looks like green's being cut as well, which is fairly surprising to be honest. Okay, a signet. Good. Um, uh, that might help. Okay, let's take Bazaar. Uh, okay, Koth. No one appears to be playing the red deck, or at least the goblin deck. Oh, mind you, I'm not actually sure that's a thing in the uh, in the cube. So yeah, I wouldn't call this a train wreck, but I'm not. I don't think it's far off it. Um, I don't think Corpse Dance really. Yeah, the fact that you've got Exile it. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, good. Yep, Ulamog. Um, so I can uh, reanimate that or I can Eureka that into play. Um, the other Eldrazi um, it's oh no, I can't remember the name of um, when it goes to the graveyard it immediately gets shuffled into your thing so it doesn't work with reanimate um, or the reanimate type thing um, Grim Monolith obviously is good um, makeshift mannequin as another reanimate type. 
on the price, one mono, sorry, uh, spot removal, treasure cruise. Don't think I'm playing blue though. I'm, th I'm not playing blue. So yeah, blue the mog. Uh, Shackles is really, really powerful. Um, if you're playing a ton of blue, Uh, Waterfall Primus, another reanimate target or Eureka target. Slight worry is I've got a lot of top end and I think I need more at the bottom to actually survive until. Uh, it's not really any ramp though. Um, Wrath of God would be great if I was in fact playing white, but I'm not. Um, Yeah, I think it's now. Oh, Deceiver Exarch. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'll let, is it? What else have I got? Um, Spiral of the Fist. Uh, I think that works well with what I'm trying to do. Um, Seaver Exarch works is is other part of the um, Splinter Twin combo, uh, but yeah, I, I feel it's fairly ridiculous trying to try shoehorn that in. Um, don't know if Survival of Fist or Demonic Tutor. I think Demonic Tutor is going to be better. Um, this costs more, you need to discard a creature card, search for a creature card, and this, yeah, sorry, okay, Demonic Tutor. Uh, time of Goyf. This was so not Time of Goyf. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't think this is a time ago deck. Although potentially, I suppose anything's a time ago deck if it runs green. Um, this is very well. It's not very good. It's it's pretty damn good. Um, but I think I've got enough um, top end reanimate Eureka targets. Dead Judgment, another Wrath, Red Ball, not really splashing red. Well, not splashing red. Uh, match rate theme, what does that do? No. Okay. Uh, Armageddon, one of more. Um. Lineside Diamond works well in the Storm deck. Um, basically, you cast a huge um, either upheaval, which returns everything, and um, anyway, I'll talk about this in a sec. Let's actually pick where I'm going to go. I mean, Apex Predator. Um, yeah, Apex Predator. That's civil, so actually, civil, Sword and Library might have been better. Actually, it probably was, wasn't it? Um, Necropotence is a deck. I don't know how it works. Um, Um, I'm tempted by Maze of Ith. If there's any huge single attacking creature, this should keep it in check. Um, blatantly doesn't work against White Weenie or any any you know the mass rush type decks. Um, 
but with cube you tend to have one big huge doom creature okay entomb okay so entomb reanimate that can lead to like a turn two um Ulamog on in play, so definitely end two. Very happy about that. I might have actually turned this deck around. Uh, Pestamite, that's another split between um, combo piece. Uh, I'll. Uh, yeah, I don't really have. Gilmogan Glibber sort of works, works against my thing, and to be honest, yeah, I'll take Pestamite just on the off chance that I decide to completely change the deck and turn it into a Pestamite Splint Twin deck, which I don't think I'm going to do because I think that will probably lose me more games than it wins me. Um, completely didn't see Maluku. Maluku. Um, I quite like this card. Um, people who know more about this than me seem to like this card, but also don't think it's as good as perhaps I think it is. Um, which basically means I'm wrong. Uh, let's take on the price, just in case. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, I'm not really playing any of these. Don't think anyone's playing White Weenie because for that to wheel. It's fairly good sign that no one's playing white. Uh, let's play Kozla, uh, Inquisition and Kozilek. Um, okay, Temple of Melody. It's in my colours. Ah, Mesmeric Fiend. What does this do? It did wheel, so it's probably not very good. Uh, oh, okay, it's just one of those. Um, LSV keeps, try, keeps um, trying to get um, Smokestack to work and doesn't appear to, so I'm not even attempting. I don't know what it does either. Um, Rexos Cackler, uh, Nighthawk, oh, Shadow Mage Infiltrator, that's fairly sad. Alright, so. What have I got? So I've got 25 cards. Oops, 24 cards. So I've got one. Yeah, this is fairly terrible. Um, all right. What does she do? Uh, I think it's going to be fairly difficult to transform her because if I've got a load of creatures out then hopefully I'm winning the game. So let's take her out. Mesmeric Fiend, I don't think very good. Uh, oh that's a discard outlet so that can... Uh, let's put Mesmeric Fiend back in. Um, All right, so uh, mind twist. I don't think I don't really think mind twist is a is a thing. I'm, I'm not really going to be ramping into enough mana to really utilize that. Uh, but really, I mean. I mean, if I can, if I can hit it for, if I can cast to do it for black and six, five cards, that should be fine. Um, I mean, chances are it will do it for a lot less than that. Uh, so I want that. That Wolfe Silverheart is really not great. On its own, it's it's a four four. Yeah, let's take that out. I'm not sure what to put in instead of it. Um, on the price, I suppose, on the off chance. Um, 
so angel six seven eight I've got thrown down dynamo and a signet so I might be able to get up to seven and cast him I am doubtful I mean I could Eureka it indefinitely but I suspect this is going to be more uh, and tomb reanimate Ulamog. If I can do that, that might be nice. Oh no! Oh damn, I picked the wrong one. Oh, this one is put into the graveyard from anywhere. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I thought it was uh, the one I saw in the in first pack. Ugh. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Um. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, Entomb, Reanimate, Infernal Titan, Woodfall Primus, or Angel Serenity. Terrestodon would have been nice, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually convinced that this deck's any good. Got a random goif. I hope that shit had. Yeah. Oh well, we'll see. Um, I mean, there's no way I'm be able to cast Ulamog, but I might be able to Eureka it. That might be living in magical Christmas land, but anyway. And because I'm not casting it, um, I can't destroy target permanent. But it is a 10-10 with an iron leg to form, so it's not terrible. Um, so I got Demonic Tutor, which can search for stuff. Uh, Master Fiend gets rid of non-land cards. Uh, so um, Goyf thing, spell sky. Uh, well, awakening zone, I suppose. Theoretically, I could ramp into Ulamog with. I mean, it, I suppose it, it's it's not obviously it's not terrible for general ramp. Um, uh, so does. A green wolf creature um, works well with release as I think I've got yeah like one two green creatures um, I mean release creates <coughs> creatures and it helps with the uh, elf plan sorry the um, the ramp plan I also destroy target artifact or enchantment uh, okay, so let's add some basic lands. Actually, before I do that, uh, Mox Temple, uh, Bayou, Maze of Ith. Do I want Bazaar of Baghdad? It's not a land. Well, I mean, obviously, it is a land. It doesn't, because it doesn't tap for mana, you shouldn't really count it as a land. You should count it as a spell. Um, But equally, Mox Emerald is a land. Um, but is do I want to bring something, take something out to put Bazaar of Baghdad in? Don't think so. Um, I mean, Maze of, Ith, uh, Maze of Ith and Stuff of Domination primarily do the same thing. I mean, it's not strictly speaking true, obviously, because you can untap target creature, but most of the time tapping it or drawing card or gaining a life. So does this actually no this see this doesn't tap for mana either. Uh, so really this is a spell so I'm gonna cut that because I've got staff domination. I can board it in if you know I need more than one effect that taps something. Um at basic lands. Alright that's a lie that's a lie. Oops. 
because um, I am in no way, shape, or form casting Angel or Titan. Um, so that's 36. It looks deck. Uh, sort by color. A bit more black than green. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven black. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's add two more black. Um, and a black and a green. So 16 lands, 17 including the Mox Emerald. Um, I haven't got any lands that don't tap for mana. Maze of Ith and Bizarre Baghdad are both outside. Um, okay. Um, on the off chance anyone's wondering how Splinter Twin and Pestmite works. Alright, so you get Pestmite out first. It's got Flash, so you can do it at the end of your um, thing at your end step. Um, beginning of the next turn, play Splinter Twin. Tap it, put a... Um, no, sorry, Enchant the Pestamite, tap Pestamite to put a token um, of Pestamite into play, which then untaps Pestamite with Splinter Twin attached, and then you do the same. You get as many uh, attackers as you need in the attack, because uh, this gives them all haste, um, and this one has um, uh, doesn't have summoning sickness. So that's how that works. Um, if I get hideously bored with my deck, I might actually board into Splinter Twin um, and see how that goes. <laughs> uh, I, I don't bode, I don't hope, hold up much hope for it. Uh, have fun, good luck. Uh, okay, well it's got Eureka and in one land, so obviously this is getting thrown back. Uh, reanimate's nice. I mean, re reanimate and entomb. That's like perfect ha opening hand. Um, yeah, I mean, I would take a one land, well, one swamp, reanimate, entomb, debt hand. Um, okay, that's the mulligan. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep this. I don't really want to go down to um, any more. Uh, am I in play? Or... So he's going first, so I'm on the draw, so I'm going to keep this. I'll scry. Yeah, so I'll um, I'll scry, draw uh, that could go on the bottom, and then play Templar Melody as my first. Wonderful Mox Jet, <sighs> joy. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so I might have problems with this. Uh, yeah, I don't really want thing. So, so he's gonna swing in for two. Uh, oh, three color. Win a fortune. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, just, just probably better. Yeah, got Garrick out. Mox Diamond. Uh, it's Treasure Cruise. Yeah, so 
he had a really good start. Okay, that's interesting. He might be digging for a storm type effect. Anyway, so what's my plan? Um, Bow signet. Okay. Um, I don't have a three drop. And I don't really have anything. Oh, God. I mean, I could do an Prowler, um, but it just seems a bit weak, to be honest. Um, so, I emerald. Oh, actually. No, I was going to. Stupid. Um, uh, go. So I've got two green. Uh, so, so next turn I can cast Frelis. Doesn't appear to be doing much, which I'm obviously very, very happy about. Or cast upheaval or something ridiculous. Um, oh, uh, okay, so there's lots of digging going on. Um, time Twister, which is lovely. Um, time Twister does. Oh, I think. Okay, so I've got ultimate price, which I'm fairly happy about. Um, of course, irritatingly enough, I can't cast it. That's fine. I'm wondering if I'm actually dead this turn. <laughs> I think if I get a chance, I'll ultimate price Young Pyromancer. Um, but I'm not convinced I'm going to get a chance. Okay, uh, so Swamp, what do I want to do, uh, Freilis or maybe Thrandyma Dynamo, um, one, two, three, five, so I can cast Freilis, I can cast Thrand and Ultimate Price, Young Pyromancer. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm not far off casting old Ulamog. Um, actually, let's put Fred Lee's into play. Frellies get a elf creature out. So Frellies is dead. He's not going to attack with young pyromancer, he or she. Don't know if thrown down a home and ultimate price would have been better. I mean, it hit me for six, which is depressing. At least this way. Yeah, it might have been easy. Well, I don't think mana is an issue. I mean, this would be too early at five. Uh, 
pressure crease. Wonderful. So you can treasure trees for a billion. Huh? Well, not treasure trees for a billion, but you can draw, cast treasure trees, uh, draw three cards. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, storm deck. Here's a storm deck. Okay. Not a huge surprise. Uh, yep. <laughs> Crypt. Wonderful. And I think I'm dead. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, I'm at two. He's going to attack for more than that, so I'm dead. Yeah, let's concede. Okay. So he's hideously faster than I am. I mean, Ignoring the fact that my deck is a bit poo. Um, I'm really tempted by Splinter Twin Testimony. But that, I mean, what would the rest of my deck look like? I have no real red. Um, yeah, that would, that, that, would, that would be terrible. Let's, let's ignore that, I'm not doing that. Um, is there anything I can do? I got a thought seize. Uh, three or less. Yeah, let's put Inquisition in. Let's take that out. Um, I guess I'd like to play first. Hmm. It doesn't really do anything. I've got a turn four frailies, but I mean, this is an outside chance I can draw stuff, and Eureka goes on. I don't think this is very good. Okay, Goyf. Turn one Goyf is... Oh, yeah, and then Mind Twist. Yeah, yeah let's try that. Uh, let's put that on the bottom. Oh, I should have cast... I should have done Swamp. I'm stupid. So I need to mind twist next turn. <laughs> Go for two. I'm sort of hoping that he'd throw something in the bin to be perfectly honest. Okay, so time of life is now one, one, two. It does mean if he wildfires me, um, not wildfire, um, wheel, and causes me to bin everything and get everything, uh, do something else, then Goyf is bigger. So it's potential for that not to be terrible. 
Uh, he's got five cards in hand, side million for two. Uh, let's just attack. And then for three next turn. Destroy, discard two cards. Please don't let them be sorceries. So if I had fetch land, that would have been helpful for the goif. I didn't draft any fetch lands though. Probably should have drafted some fetch lands. I mean, generally not just for the coin, but it tends to be things like deck, shuffle effects, etc. etc. Uh, three, four, nice. Thank you. Four, five. <laughs> Excellent. He's got one card in hand. Uh, so let's. This is more to get it out of his hand than to increase the goyf size. I mean, it'd be great if it did, but I suspect it's not going to. Okay, so he's casting it, so I suppose it's an instant. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, he draws a card. But he draws a card. <laughs> okay, not really sure of the usefulness of that. Oh, he hit me, that's one. Um, so, yeah. Let's attack like that. So actually, it doesn't affect the board, so let's ignore that. Sorry, it doesn't affect the clock. Uh, actually, it does affect the clock. I'll do it next time. Um, Also, I can do this, and yeah, he doesn't have. So I can kill him next turn if he doesn't kill. Actually, it doesn't affect the clock. Well, yeah. I mean, I've got five damage multiple different ways. He needs to get rid of the goif. Or. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not sure how that's helping anything, but we shall see. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to swing for seven. Um, he's got four cards in hand. Oh, he's brainstorming, of course, sorry. Uh, Ireland, 
me. Actually brainstorming. So he's looking for one card. Yeah, so I mean, he's just digging for, he or she is just digging for a, uh, a spell at this point, which will blank something. Tendrils of Agony. Okay. I don't think... Oh, he's, he's doing it on... 246. Oh, shh, damn. Oh, no, it's me. Oh, he's, he's doing it. Oh, okay, come on. He gains life. Sorry, completely misread how that works. Um, so I can hit him for 7. Or I can hit him for 6. So 7 is obviously better. So he's bought himself a turn. <coughs> Let's cast that scry. <coughs> uh, log. Um, uh, let's put it on the top. I'm not going to be able to cast it, obviously. Oh, actually, let's do that. Jace. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's not five, six. So now I can, I can pump it up. All right. So go. Ah, yes. Hooray. Uh, okay, so it wasn't bad, um, more through luck than judgment as usual, but um, anything else I want to change? Uh, um, is there any point in taking out the big stuff and putting in Dark Confident? I mean, especially trash up as well. I think Splashing for Asiok is, what does this do again? Exile top three. Did I get a blue black? No, I got Hinterland Harbor. Yeah. Uh. So that may have been, have been a mistake. Um, okay, so he's got turn first, so I'm going to keep this. Okay, so my plan, which arguably is not very good, but it's a plan, is um, draw a card, not play anything, discard an Inferno Titan, turn to uh, Swamp Reanimate. Infernal Titan. I mean, this is a fairly fragile plan, I will readily admit.
uh, spell sky next turn um, mind twist oh, awakening zone perhaps three then mind twist four if I live that long because I'm at 14 how the hell oh, of course that's how I'm at 14 I'm doing nine a turn, so that's two turns clock, I believe. Uh, I Ah! Oh, yeah. Well, that does exactly what I thought it was going to do. Um, yeah, it's good. Swamp. Um, do I want to go first? No, I want a mind twist first. Uh, no, I don't. I want an awakening zone first. Uh, so I want to get rid of everything else he's got in his hand, which I think I'm going to be able to do next turn anyway. And if I'm really, really lucky, I can get rid of that and play Goyf. Oh God, he got rid of Snapcast. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, I'm fairly surprised at that, but I obviously don't know what his deck's doing. Um, So yeah, I can mind twist and goif next turn. He'll probably bounce with Jace, which I'm fairly happy about. Well, I'm not happy about, but I, you know, that's fine. Um, okay, go. Um, so he's got one card in hand, so I think Goyf do that. Now I can redirect to Spell Skite and then use Goyf to slam in. Kill Jace. Okay. Yeah, I've forgotten about that. I should have. Um, I should have done something else. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's killed. Time of which is irritating, but you know. Um, yeah, I knew he had time twister. That was that was huge mistake on my part. Uh, 
Um, so what's my plan next turn? We get another Eldrazi spawn. Um, quite like the idea of killing Angel of Serenity. <laughs> well, it's reanimating Angel of Serenity, sorry. Uh, Una would be good. Um, I think Mesmeric Fiend is a good piece of hand. Don't really do Dark Cabal, Cabal Ritual. So he's basically looking at storming me out this turn, I suspect. I don't think he's. Well, let's see. Oh, he's Dark Ritual and Cabal Therapy. Oh no, Dark Ritual a while ago. Dark Petition, yeah, he's definitely, yeah, he's looking at storming me out. So he needs six spells to kill me with um, oh, the black um, drain. One um, storm card but at the same time it increases which one could definitely I mean he could increase his um, thing up a lot uh, here we go yeah I'm pretty much dead now I think yeah there we go tendrils of agony uh, one two three four five six yep good game sir Okay, that was fun. Um, yeah, I mean, um, so a couple of mistakes are made. Um, did I let? No, he played Jace and then immediately bounced. Um, uh, Inferno Titan, so I didn't really have anything to do about that, um, but playing Goyf into Time Twister was, was a mistake. Uh, yeah, should definitely have uh, Mind Twisted first and then played Goyf. Okay. Um, so I've got some time before the next one, so I'm going to pause the recording and start up a new one afterwards.